budget crisis for a suburban school district, Oswego District 308. It's trying to trim costs. It's a desperate effort to avoid cutting student programs. This district includes 21 schools in four suburbs. And our Leah Hope is joining us live in Oswego, where a meeting is set for tonight there, Leah. This district, like so many others across the state, is trying to balance its budget. And in a district with so much pride for its athletic programs and fine arts programs, there is hope that those programs would be unaffected by any budget cuts. As school lets out at Oswego High School, administrators at School District 308 consider options to balance the district's budget. It's a very tough time. You certainly want to keep, you know, cuts away from kids and our goal is to make the academic experiences as high as possible. OHS is one of 22 schools in the district and administrators tell us state funding has not kept up with expenses. Discussion of possibly reducing any extracurricular activities has some parents most concerned. I would hope that people would see this as a community issue. Debbie Nuttall says both of her sons have benefited from programming in the district. We understand that everything is up for review, and it should be. Everything should be looked at to make sure that we're doing the best we can for our kids. But obviously, I don't want music to be cut. The extracurriculars make it, um, I think, it makes my day go faster. I always think of it as, yes, one more period to go. Um, as uh, a, I get to go to band. I love band. This morning, the board president posted a letter online and will open with these comments at tonight's board meeting. He says, in part, the options that were presented to school board at the November 27th meeting were just that options. We need everyone to understand these options are nowhere close to making the final list of budget cuts. He goes on to say, we are also going to slow this process down. Since the November 27th meeting, we have received more than 300 budget reduction recommendations from the community. As a result, we need to take a step back and reconsider our timeline. I'm not going to predict what happens this evening, but certainly the, the board is committed to all of our extracurricular activities. That board meeting is set to begin at 7 o'clock at Oswego East High School. Administrators tell us they are eager to hear from people's suggestions as well as the students, the community activists, and so those in the area. They want to hear what their ideas are to reduce their costs here and ways to not affect the education here. And uh, they say officially that there is no action that they will take this evening at that meeting.